Priya Maxine. You're watching the Weekly Roundup where you will find the top stories in the data and analytics ecosystem in India. So let's get started. In a positive move, payment service provider Visa has started a creative program to help small entrepreneurs like filmmakers, musicians, digital first artists and fashion designers to understand how they can leverage non-fungible tokens or NFTs to expand their businesses. Through this creative program, Visa will select a bunch of entrepreneurs and provide them technical mentorship, access to researchers and experts in cryptos, web and online commerce and the opportunity to engage with Visa's client and partner companies. While cyber attacks are on the rise in India, there continues to be a lack of cyber security professionals to secure and manage the online space. A new report published by Global IT Association, ISACAR revealed that in India, 60% of the organizations have unfilled cyber security positions and then 42% report their cyber security team is understaffed. Even more concerning is that nearly 60% believe that over half of their applicants are poorly qualified for the position they are applying. The survey featured insight from more than 2,000 cyber security professionals and also said that nearly two-thirds of the respondents in India take more than three to six months of their organization to fill a cyber security position with a qualified candidate. Spark Cognition, a global leader in AI software solution for business, has signed a definitive agreement to acquire integration wizards. The acquisition will allow Spark Cognition to expand its IP portfolio to include computer vision capabilities and build on its portfolio of machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing and knowledge representation to address the $14.4 billion visual AI market. Indian Institute of Technology Madras Robert Bosch Center for Data Science and Artificial Intelligence have launched an initiative called Hidden Voices to reduce the gender data gap in digital sources starting with Wikipedia. The initiative founders have set a goal of auto-generating biographies of several notable women in STEM within this year. Some of the major barriers in addressing the data gap include editors, gender, and interest but all contribution from external sources. Hence, the project aims to develop information theoretical approaches, ML assistive auto identification and validation of external sources and textual analysis methods to auto generate the first draft of Wikipedia style file. Google Health has shared new areas of AI related research and development and how the tech giant is providing clinics with easy to use tools to care for patients at the checkup. Google introduced smartphone cameras potential to protect cardiovascular health and preserve eyesight. It aims to help detect screenings for diabetic retinopathy. Now the detection would be done through photos of the exterior of the eye using existing tabletop cameras and clinics. Another research also is investigating whether a smartphone can detect heartbeats and movements. Researchers at Google are currently in the early stages of clinical study testing and also use of AI to help provide, conduct ultrasound and perform assessment. Information technology solution provider HP has acquired hybrid work solutions company Poly for $3.3 billion. The cost of acquisition includes Poly's death and will include the full portfolio of Poly's work solutions focused on hybrid. That includes the likes of webcams, video conferencing monitors and services. HP said that the acquisition is in line with HP's strategy to focus on hybrid work solutions. The company also said that 75% of the workers are investing in home setups to fulfill needs for video conferencing and better connectivity. Startup Blockchain.com said it raised new funding that values the company at about $14 billion, more than doubling its worth in cryptocurrency firms. The company has 37 billion verified users. 82 billion wallets created and more than 1 trillion transactions according to the website. Ending with some positive news, data scientists are tweeting their ML books collection inspired by Bojan Tenzak, a senior system software engineer at NVIDIA who tweeted a snapshot of his collection of books on coding, data science and machine learning. The tweet went viral and attracted lots of responses from the data science and machine learning community. That's all for today. Keep watching this space for more updates.